Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Manga Man Drew, and I'm here to do, for the last time, my manga review slash reaction to My Hero Academia Vigilantes Manga Chapter 126. And uh, if we are to take what we've heard so far at face value, this is the final chapter for My Hero Academia Vigilantes. And may I say that this was just a fun ride. Like, I hadn't been reading Vigilantes since it started, but I have been reading it since, like, some of its more initial chapters. Getting to see pretty much Koichi, Knuckle Duster, Pop Step, all of the Narita gang, just getting to see their story being played out in this way was very fun. I pretty much enjoyed it. It's kind of like what you may have wanted from My Hero Academia proper of just having the characters just having fun, enjoying their lives, and in some ways actually acting as heroes. Even though technically in the story they are vigilantes, hence the name. So, I just had a blast reading this. I've enjoyed the past few chapters, and yeah, the fight with number six may have lasted a lot longer than it probably should have, but it was still a fun fight to see. I still enjoyed it for the most part all the way through, and hopefully I'm going to be enjoying this final chapter. So this is just going to be my reaction to the final chapter of Vigilantes, and most likely doing a slight review at the end, but we're just going to jump right into it, because... Yeah, this is going to be the last time I'm going to be reading this series, and that's just very, very sad and melancholic. Like, I, I like I probably won't have the same reactions that I've had to other series ending like Doctor Stone and Attack on Titan, but this it, this is a fun story that I enjoyed, so it's going to affect me one way or another. And it's a little bit longer than the average chapter, but not by much, as we have the chapter beginning with uh, apparently people looking up at the sky and there you have someone saying mayday 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 both engines of skyfall flight 400 have power have lost power due to a bird strike ooh as you have the people looking up at the sky and the pilots are like well can't restart we'll go for an emergency water landing in the hudson but captain at this altitude we'll crash into the city before we hit the water oh no I wonder who's gonna help. Oh! As you just said, oh, as this is the captain speaking, all crew and passengers, prepare for impact. Please get in position, heads down, bodies low. Crush posi crash positions, crash positions, head down, bodies low. Mommy, someone's here. As we see Koichi sticking to the side of the plane, and it's in color too. That makes it all, oh, that makes it so much cooler. As he's just smiling, as like the wind is blowing on him, and he accidentally gets blown off the plane. It's like, yep, that's me, Koichi Hiwari. The past year has been a wild one for me, and at times I can barely keep up. At the moment, I'm looking at the massive debt and a ton of impending losses, so I can't live in Japan, which is why I'm working as a hero in the U.S. Oh my gosh, that's actually, that's actually kind of hilarious. That's actually kind of hilarious. It's like the crawler, the sky crawler is here. Oh, jeez, is he actually up for this? Was nobody else available? Oh my gosh. Sure, I was one. Sure, I always wanted to be a hero, but all along I was just sort of playing pretend. He's like, We're screwed. No, don't give up hope. He's better than nothing, right? Now that it's my job, I can say that being a hero is mighty tough. Ooh, whoa! Whoa! Oh, okay, to explain what he is doing right now, Koichi has, like, placed his hands on top of, or not on top, at the bottom of the plane, and he is able to use the force of his sliding go blam or sliding go, sliding go to basically boost the plane upward so that it would have enough force to be able to land in the water Yo, that's a, that's actually really cool. And as we see, he's successfully able to do that. It's like, we're alive on the Houston River where Skyfall Flight 400 has just made an emergency landing. No lives were lost thanks to the efforts of one hero who rushed to the scene. At the moment, the rescue opportunity is already underway. Ah, help me, I'm drowning. And it's like, have some dignity. Oh, hi, Cap. 
Don't start relaxing yet. The real battle is about to begin. Ooh. This is very interesting. Also, the fact that Koichi can't swim. So, we're getting, like, a slight flashback to what's going on. Koichi Hirase, the vigilante of Narita. Hero or villain? You're on the losing end of that question back in Japan. But vigilanteism has deep roots here in the U.S. So, you've just got to rack up some wins and get public opinion on your side. Oh! Especially, especially important is the interview with the hero after a major event that can sway the impressions you give the public in a big way huh i can't give a speech in english i barely understand the questions oh it's probably better if you don't speak at all yes i'll fight on with all my might oh she's going to translate for him i'll plant one of our people as a member of the press so just give her that answer and you'll be golden don't forget a disarming smile. This coach is like, oh, oh my gosh, this feels like they're rigged. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I don't like this. I just looked at what this is saying. Yes, I'll fight on with all my might. And as you have, <laughs> as you have the price to say, you're the CC corporate newest hero the sky crawler could you give a comment or two you can ask my ward whatever you like oh you started out protecting the streets of narita in japan so you do you intend to continue good work here in new york well if i ain't the distract destruct isn't it the destructor of narita oh no oh, oh no this guy i he looks I want to say he looks like Knuckle Dust. He's like, how about you head downtown and smash Wall Street to rubble? Oh, no, he's just a drunkard. Give those fancy pants, necktie wearing jackasses what's coming to him. And it's like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And he says, yes, with all my might. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh no, they didn't prepare him for a random person coming up to him. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> and then we just have, he is a, you got hero, but then a whole lot of siding for villain because, oh gosh, he's in America. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> it was hilarious and I hate it. Okay, as we're actually getting more context, he made New York his new home and began his career there this past spring. We're here talking about none other than Japan born Koichi Hirase, no, now a hero called Skycrawler, as we begin to see where everyone is doing in Japan, how they're getting along with each other, the Narita gang, all how they're like just having fun with each other. We're just hanging out. Everyone's watching him being a hero. We even see Soga wraps Moyoru and uh, Knuckle Dusters, uh, nuts, nuts, daughter. We get to see them, so it's good that they weren't left behind. Oh yeah, we all were getting to see everyone else. Fat Gum, uh, Ingenium, uh, Miracle, Bestiness, all of them. Oh, this is really cool. Oh my gosh, as we have the box saying with memories of his controversy controversial involvement in the so-called Narita lockdown disaster still fresh Mr. Hiware joined the US based CC Corporation as a hero known as the Sky Skycrawler earlier this evening just past 7 p.m. local time he rushed to a Skyfall flight 400 as the damaged aircraft hurled across the skies of New York the hero from Japan showed his mettle by helping the plane perform any emergency water landing but in the aftermath his inappropriate remark to the press shocked everyone because he can't speak English as we also get to see some other smaller details we get to see uh overhaul confronting wrapped we get to see all might looking we get to see midnight uh we get to see present mike looking as well as we get to see aizawa most likely at ua uh it's just a nice like combination of everything that's going on uh oh no this is not gonna be bad as you have people saying mr skycrawler what did you mean by yes with all my might are you indicating that your heroics will force preliminary primarily on supporting lower income groups or just laying the groundwork for 
impending lawsuits. I, um, oh no, too many big words. Don't understand. Oh my gosh, he can't speak English. Can I go home? I'm cold. I fell in the river. Excuse you? Are you messing with us? Answer the question. He's Japanese. Just calm down. It's like, hey, yo, bro, put this on, won't ya? Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, a text from who? As we get to see Koichi has an All Might hoodie on uh, that says, I love New York. Looks like Koichi got an All Might hoodie from the locals over there. They sell those in the US too? Now that a pro hero should be tickled pink over that. Oh my gosh. He's a kind of an idiot, huh? You could be right as we get to see uh, the sister, the twin sister, I keep forgetting her name, as well as Pop Step there just laughing at Koichi as she's apparently getting better. So we're getting to see, we're probably going to see a lot more of that play out in this chapter. I'm just very excited as you have Pop saying, as for me, I'm making do in a new city, but I wonder how Narita is doing. Oh, this is still Koichi. He's saying this. For whatever reason, it's a corner of Tokyo beyond the watchful gaze of most heroes. So I can't help but worry about nasty things happening to the people who live there. Okay, this is very interesting. Is something going to happen? But heck, maybe that's none of my business anymore. Why? Because since before we had a hero system, and even before people got the special powers we call quirks, conflicts were always part of human society, and throughout history, locals have tended to deal with their own problems. That's how Makoto explained it to me once anyway, as we're getting to see potentially... Oh, I think I know what's going to go on. Oh! Oh, I see what's going on. Oh my gosh. Uh, back off. The crawler lives around here, you know? Whenever there's trouble, he'll come swooping in. As you have these thugs that kind of are resembling to what Wrapped Muru and Soga used to be. And it's like, you wish, buddy. He's off playing hero in America. And you think he'd give a damn about this shake us shaking you down? Yeah, he's gone. You ain't wrong. Who's there? Oh, I know who this is. Heroes are busy folks, too busy to bother swooping into back alleys. So two bit wannabe villain trash like you punks, then you can run the joint as you get another color page. It's like, but nope, it ain't gonna play out like that. Why you ask? Cause I'm here as we have the title of the chapter, final episode, the sky crawler rising. As we have Knuckle Duster about to beat the snot out of these people. Oh, the end. Thank you for reading. The story continues in My Hero Academia. Dot, dot, dot. A new era. What does this mean? Also, oh, that was actually unexpected. All right, so we got confirmation that Knuckle Duster is alive. That's all that I needed from this chapter. As long as we're confirmed that he's alive and he's apparently heavily injured in a way where he's having a cane but still willing to beat the heck and the snot of people... This is very interesting how it's ending. The Skycrawler rising. So maybe we're going to get another spinoff focusing on Koichi, the crawler in America. Or as the end of this chapter continues, say like, thank you for reading. The story continues in My Hero Academia, dot, dot, dot. This is very interesting because this could imply a few things. One, it's going to continue in the proper story of My Hero Academia. Or we're getting another spin-off My Hero Academia, like Vigilantes or Skycrawler or something like that. So that's actually very interesting. But pretty much what this chapter is, is just wrapping up Koichi's story. We get to see Koichi actively and actually being a hero for once. And him also being Koichi once again and screwing himself over. <laughs> Making himself appear as a villain just because he accidentally answered the question of like a hobo homeless person. Also, he can't speak English. You can't really hold that against him, but apparently people do. But overall, we just get to see where everyone is, how everyone else is doing, just in small tidbits. Hey, 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 we kind of get to see Koichi's uh, father. Not completely, but we get to see part of his body. But overall, we're just seeing pretty much how everything is going with these characters, seeing that they're all healthy, they're alive, they're doing great, they're happy, and just addressing some things that are brought up in this story 
actual hero story, My Hero Academia proper, Stain, Rappa, just getting to see where all of the characters are, and this is the kind of story that I really enjoy. I wish we would have seen more of it in this chapter and more of it in the series, but overall, this was still a very enjoyable chapter. I really enjoyed it. It really, it didn't hit me as emotionally as I thought that it would hit me, but I still enjoyed this chapter. I still think that this is a really good chapter, even though we're just focusing on the characters slightly and primarily focusing on Koichi, but just getting to see him actually be a hero and getting to see that he's going to be a hero in America and that potentially we could see more of Koichi later on, if not in the story proper, in another spinoff series. So yeah, I'm really enjoyed this series, really enjoyed this chapter, and hopefully you enjoyed this series and chapter alongside me and enjoyed the ride as we went through it. So yeah, not much that I can really say right now. All I can really say is thanks for watching, and if you want to see more My Hero Academia content, subscribe to my YouTube channel and explain how you got into vigilantes i would love to see your stories and maybe i can tell my story a little bit more in detail about this series a little bit later on down the road so enjoy so do all that cool jazz and hopefully i'll be able to catch you in my next video goodbye for the last time <gasps>